back to our channel, Adventures with Indy. Today, we're off to the North Coast. Yeah, off to Padstow. Padstow, we're going on a mini adventure. Yeah. So we're not staying overnight. and we have parked in Lynx car park which is at the top of the town and from the 1st of November until the end of March it's only £1.20 to park all day. Motorhomes are prohibited after 11 o'clock at night until 8 o'clock in the morning but other than that that's quite a good price isn't it to park all day in Padstow. have our lunch before we head off for a little walk and we've stopped he's got his hat on. we stopped and picked up the most famous pasties or we think they're the most famous pasties in Cornwall. Where are they too? Oh. <laughs> Hello. Bar and a yep. Big one for you Mandy and a little one for me because I'm looking after my waistline these if you believe that, you believe anything. <laughs> <laughs> right, mini ketchup. Ketchup. Oh my god. Look at the size of it. You love these pasties, don't you? Have you grown up on these pasties? Yeah. Seriously, I don't know how I live with him. <laughs> right, we're going to eat our pasties. Right. Good afternoon, folks. Right, okay, so we're in the Padstow car park here. Yeah. And we're going to go into town because we need to go and see somebody. And then we're going to pick up the green trail following the mouth of the estuary, heading towards the Doom Bar. And then we're going to pick up the Southwest Coast Path. And perhaps we might come back this way, or we might go up around the head, step a point, and back around. We'll see. But we're heading out into town and along the coast path. Coast path that way. Hopefully, yes. Hopefully, the sun will continue to shine, won't it? Shining at the minute. Hopefully, it'll carry on. Shall we get ready then? We shall. So right to the town, left to the church. Padstow was traditionally a fishing port, but it's now become a popular tourist destination, mostly influenced by the restaurateur Rick Stein, who has lots of restaurants and cafes here. It can be really, really busy in the summer. Literally a two minute walk from the car park into town. It's good, isn't it? Amazing. <laughs> There's the twin fin run shop. Let me try that. Okay, so we're see. heading to Tarquins. Twin fin? Yeah, that's twin fin opposite, but we're heading into Tarquins, aren't we? And why are we heading into Tarquins? Hola! Welcome! <laughs> Welcome to Tarquins. All right. Good Cornish product. <laughs> Figgy pudding gin. Figgy pudding. Is that a new one? Um, so they had it out last year. Oh. It's really, really nice. Really Christmassy. Oh. Is that babe? Yeah. Ooh, cherry tree. Lovely cake and cherry tree. It's actually quite busy. 
getting crabs, look. Oh, the last time we were there. Got one? Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Over there, you can get the ferry from Padstow Twok. You can see it's coming, coming over there. Yeah. It's got to miss all those sandbanks. When the tide's out, you can walk all the way from Rock along the sand right round to Damer Bay, can't you? Look at the view of this one. I know. Look, that you can. I don't know if you can see it. It's a bridge. Probably can't see that, can they? So yeah. the camel trail goes on and that yeah, goes bridge. all, all the, way the way It's a way bridge. Yeah. Up to Wapping then, up to uh, near St Brewers. Up to the moors. Up to the moors, to Sarat, Helen to Sarat. Yeah. Uh, so you go from moors to coast. What is it? How many miles? Moors to coast. 17? Or is it more than that? Well, from here to... to Sarat. Yeah, it is about eight, yeah, 18. Yeah. About 17, 18. Yeah. Camel Trail, the old railway line. Yeah. Mm. Little beach down there, babe. Oh, it's a spaniel. <laughs> what do you think that is? No, can't. Your countryside house or your house? Hat. Countryside hat yeah. or your coastal hat? It's my countryside one. Oh, why are you wearing the countryside one? Coastal one's in that home. Oh. Through the sand dunes. Okay. Look at that beach, it's just looking beautiful, babe. Mm. Look at it. And empty. I can't believe that today is what the twelfth of November. Yeah. It's so warm. Hey. So you can wear shorts today. Could have worn shorts. In fact, today. I went for a run this morning, and I did. Yeah, you did, didn't you? It used to be a bog. When it's really, it's really... Thing, it? Yeah, you used to walk across the edges and... Branches. Yeah, it's not so bad now. Just as well, you haven't got the right foot wear. I don't think they're edib edible. It looks like somebody's picked them up. Mm. They're not that desperate for food. <laughs> you have to see the pasty. <laughs> nice with my hat on, man. Oh, Our walk along the southwest coast path has taken us towards Hawker's Cove, a small coastal hamlet situated about a mile and a half north of Padstow. The hamlet has just two terraces of cottages and the ones you can see here are the pilot cottages and just behind is the old Coast Guard station and cottages. There's a boathouse with a slipway which once housed the Padstow lifeboat. Yeah, 
So somewhere up there is a little tea room. We'll have to go there one day because we've gone past it so many times, haven't we? I've not gone in there. Tea garden, tea, now closed. Reopening just before Easter. It's down here, babe. Kick guard? So we've climbed out of Hawker's Cove and the tide's definitely coming in, isn't it? Yeah. Quite quick yeah. and it's getting, getting dark and it's getting quite breezy. Yeah. Sun's got in. Step a point, look out. Yeah? Uh, yeah. Over there in the distance is Step a Point. There's another old watchtower. I bet they let fires and something in that, didn't they? Usually, we'd go along that bit of coast path, wouldn't we? Yeah. Is, that, is that like a mine? Is that like, is that like a... No, I think it's like a beacon, like a watch oh. tower. Okay. Yeah. But we're just keeping inland a bit. A bit windy, a bit rough out there, isn't it? Yeah. It's getting a bit windy. You don't blow my hair off. <laughs> I can't afford to um, lose it. <laughs> This little hamlet here, usually we do the walk the other way around and you go off in that direction down to Trevone, don't you? We do. And then you follow the coast path all the way around. So hopefully now we'll find the little footpath that crosses through all the fields. To Prido Place. To Prido Place. Where the old deers are. That lick oh, copper. I don't know if they lick copper here. I saw that on a programme about Chatsworth House. Yeah, well, they, they do, because the copper was hanging on bushels. Is it? Most, yeah. Oh. In the past, when I've been here cycling, it's changed now. Oh, okay. It. Ooh, I've lit them. Public footpath. Already? Yeah. No. It isn't it just goes all diagonally. Diagon alley. <laughs> I can smell cabbages. Can see it, can I know I can smell them as well. Can't you can't smell that. Nope. Nice smell? Not particularly. It's cabbages, isn't it? Blue. Go on then. <laughs> These are Brussels sprouts, aren't they? Are they Brussels sprouts? I think so. No way. They're big, big cabbage, that's very big. Why are they then? Put your hand in the middle, see what comes out. So we think it might not be cabbages, it might be cauliflowers, it could be broccoli. If anybody knows, please let us know in the comments below. There's just a sea of them. Everywhere. <laughs> oh, there's more. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> ah, so that little hamlet was called Crugmere, three quarters of a mile away, babe. This is pretty place. It's not open to the public now. This has got a bit of work going on. But over here oh dear. is where the deers live. Is there no deers? No. Oh, right at the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're right up there. Right up there. You can see them. Oh. So we're pretty much back in Padstow now. Yes. Aren't we? So just gonna walk back down into the town because I bought something and I left it with my brother. <laughs> Did you pass the gin shop? Traitors. <laughs> Yeah. And we're back to the car park. Yeah. <laughs> How many miles have we walked? 7.35 miles. We're putting the gas on. Yeah. We put the kettle on. Yeah. And then what we're going to have? Kicky. Kick. 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 We've got some today. You couldn't resist. It's really fleecy and soft. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> Black Friday sale started already and um where was we? Regatta. Regatta. Yeah, Black mm -hmm. like Friday. So, got a good deal on a crack up the top. <laughs> no, it's lovely. Not going to wear that out walking though. Oh, we're just having a cup of coffee, aren't we? Yeah, and a, and a bit of cake. Oh, where's our cake? Where did you put them on? Yeah. In the temporary cupboard. <laughs> Barnacles goodies. What have you got? Secret. Millionaire's. Shortbread. Caramel. Caramel. What's the difference? Millionaire's got like gold on top. Is it? Mm. And I have got a jam donut because Malcolm Barnacles. What does that say? Since 1939 or something. 1930. They make the best jam donuts in the whole entire world. And that's it for today, no more treats. Six donuts is enough, isn't it? No, uh, not even six donuts. Anyway, that was a very lovely walk and it was over seven miles, wasn't it? It was. So, and the sun shone for most of it. So that was good. Here you go. Take your time, didn't you? <laughs> We hoped you enjoyed watching our little adventure today. It was only a little one. We do quite like going out just for the day, don't we? We do. Yeah, we don't always go away. We've got quite a lot going on between now and Christmas, so we don't think we're going to get away. Anyway, so yeah, so if you did, then remember give us a thumbs up, leave us any comments. Don't forget, we want to know what those plants were. Plants? What vegetables? Back in the field what the vegetables were because we have no idea so yeah so give us a thumbs up and leave a comment and if you're not already subscribed then please do yeah and ring the bell ding 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 ding, ding. <laughs> and we'll see you again soon thanks for watching bye, bye.